Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. So I did have a mini haul for you guys, except it really is quite mini. I think there's like two plants in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the mini haul and I mean it when I say mini. And then I'm going to show you a couple of variegated updates of things around the shop. There aren't many plants here today. There is something really weird I want to show you at the end, which... I mean, I don't know if anybody else's plant has done this. It's just really weird. But anyway, on with the video. Okay, so let's pick up my first plant. The first plant I'd like to show you is so tiny. Now, I do have more than one of these. I might have two or three. I say I have two or three. I bought two of these plants and then I cut them down because they're really kind of a hot commodity at the minute, you could say. This is variegated philodendron hastartum, also known as philodendron silver sword. And I will show you up close this plant. This really is just a cutting with like a tiny noba varial root in it. So I can't really move it around the pot much. I can certainly hold it up for you to the camera. The lights aren't helping me a ton right now, but if I just turn that round, how can you get this other leaf? I don't have to do this without tipping this up, literally. Can you see this? Again, I do have more of them, but this is kind of, I don't want to say the biggest because it's not, but the other ones are kind of like one leaf and they're a bit unimpressive. I mean, this is a little bit unimpressive in its own right, but I got a few of these in because like I say, everyone's kind of wanting them. I kind of like it as well. I'd like to see it larger, but in order to do that and in order to recoup my investment, I need to chop it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow this over the Christmas period and propagate it and get it really nice for spring. So in spring, I should have some of these. And I'm kind of excited about it. I do think they look very, very beautiful. And if you haven't seen one of these before, get yourself on the internet and find pictures of them because they look incredible. This is absolutely not doing this plan justice, like not even a little bit. That's all I've really got to show you to do with him. He's got Koya all over him in just bits and pieces. Let me try and put him up to the camera so you get a bit of a better view. Again, the lights aren't really helping. I think they're blowing the plant out a little bit. But there he is. That is philodendron silver sword, shall we say. Variegated. Really lucky to have one of these. Really, really lucky to have one of these. And I'm pretty sure he came in just after I'd finished filming the last haul. And I mean like a couple of hours later the package landed. So that's why you haven't seen him yet. Okay, this next guy, I'm actually going to get my phone out because I can't remember how to pronounce his name, but he is very, very pretty. And I've got high hopes for him, even though he's probably not going to grow the best because he's a bit of a tricky type of plant, I think. Although so far he's done great. The name of the next plant I'm about to hold up is Raphidophora foraminifera. Foraminifera? Foraminifera. Super white variegated. I don't know, guys. It's a variegated raffidophora, and it looks really, really cool. Let me just put this into my pocket, like so. And I want to show you this guy. This guy is awesome. I'm dropping lacquer everywhere. I'm going to show you him up close, and then we'll talk about him a little bit, because, again, I haven't had him in very long. He looks a little bit like a couple of epipremnums I've shown you, except he is raffidophora. He gets much larger, and he is super awesome. Now, you guys actually would have seen this guy in the last haul that I did, a couple of weeks ago now, I think. I completely forgot to pick him up. I've got a little, little bit of saggage coming off him. Yeah, I completely, completely forgot to pick him up. I think he just got lost in with all the other variegated stuff. So I wanted to show you him now because he's really, really nice. And what I would normally do is I would preface this by saying, hey, this looks good now. This might not look good later, but I'm kind of surprised by him because he has been here two weeks and he looks like this. He looks absolutely awesome. See if I can tilt him again so you can really kind of see. Hopefully. Will it focus? Yes, yeah, sort of. You get the picture. So he's looking really nice. I don't tend to find this with Raphidophora. Yes, obviously, we all know Raphidophora tetrasperma, right? You can't say, but I actually have a ton on my wall behind me. And it's awesome. It's way superseded the wall and it's growing up to the ceiling. It's great. Can't fold that plant. Anything else that I've had other than maybe Raphidophora hei or something like that, anything else I've struggled with a little bit. Anything that isn't a shingler. I do have another Raphidophora plant that I might be able to grab for you. It used to be up in my studio and it was this really nice lance leafed thing. It, it looked a little bit like this, except longer. And it nearly died, so I took it out. I grew it down here. Now it's quite good. Let me see if I can show you it. Literally, I nearly didn't recognize him. It actually took me a little while to find him. But this guy, does anyone remember this guy with his lovely long lance leaves? That's the other Raphidophora I had. Obviously, I've done well with him. He's flowering in here, so great. But I find Raphidophora to be very, very difficult 
Very, very difficult, generally. And I'm, again, I'm not talking about the mass-produced ones. Of course they're easy. That's why they mass-produce, right? That's why they're cheap. But these guys are very, very difficult. And you can see, in the past, it hasn't gone so well. But at the minute, this guy's growing pretty well. He's obviously got a bit smaller, but he's doing all right. But yes, yeah, so if I just pick the other guy back up, that's what's going on at the minute. So I was kind of worried it was going to turn out like this did at the start. It kind of went downhill really quickly, but he stayed really nice. So, so far he's quite easy. I will keep you updated because honestly, I do feel like this is a plant that people might want. I would love to see more Raffidophora sort of circulating in collections and things like that. Maybe less of this guy because it's an acquired taste. I get it. But this guy is really, really cool. So I'm kind of hoping to see more of him. I hope he flourishes. I hope he grows well. And hopefully what happened to this guy doesn't happen to this guy. So the next plant I have to show you here is not a hole. You've seen this before, except you haven't seen this exact plant. So I wanted to give you some feedback on the variegated philodendron Congo that I had really early this year. It was that horrible video where I snapped the leaf. Was it the Congo that I snapped? Might have been, you know, I can't remember now. But it was pretty traumatic anyway. I've been propagating this guy for a long time and I've had some yield out of it, but it's been quite difficult to do. And a lot of these plants have, I mean, some of them reverted and then now they're sort of coming back from that. This is definitely one of them because this green leaf here, just so you can get a sense of what propagation is like for me, this is how it started, guys. And the leaf before that down here, and get up close to the camera, is actually green. It's kind of amazing that we've gone from green to obviously what you see down at the bottom here. And it's kind of a little bit of a reminder, to be honest, that if you have plants that you're propagating and you think they've reverted, hang on a bit, hang on the usual amount you'd hang on for, but just hang on a little bit longer. Honestly, stick a tag in it, label it, put it in like a plant corner or something like that, where you've, you've got things that maybe you don't care about, something like that. Always label it, mind. And you may, may get it come back. So that's always a good thing to know. Don't always throw things out if you think they're going to revert. And in this case, definitely this came back. Needless to say, a good indicator would be to look at the petioles, you know, in the nodes and stuff when you've cut them. Can you see any yellow or white or whatever? If you can, then you, it's probably viable anyway. Whereas if it's all green, it's not impossible that it won't come back. Strange things have happened to me in this unit. I would have told you a long time ago that if there's nothing in the node, it's probably reverted. It might come back, but your chances are super, super low. So really, he's just here to kind of illustrate that. And I do have another one to show you as well that's done arguably a bit better. I'll have a look in a second, but that's him anyway. That's variegated philodendron Congo. He's very pretty. And to be honest, soon, depending on how this guy goes, I will either cut him again or I will sell him as a baby because he's beautiful. And I think these are still quite sought after. I could be wrong, but I think they are. So that's him one last time. There he is. Philodendron Congo. Very, very cute. And if you remember, this guy was bought from one plant. I had one Congo in and I've had to propagate them. And I do have some here and there that are all green. It, full disclosure, it hasn't been the easiest run, but it won't be. Generally, if you buy something that is just one mother plant, you're going to have that problem, generally speaking. It's rare that you get lucky, I think. That's him anyway. He's still cute though, isn't he not? Look how cute he is. Oh. Same thing again with this guy. This is philodendron. I think it's wend imbe variegated or something like that. This guy's done okay. I'm trying to work out what the lowest leaf was. It could be this half moon here because we've got a green one or the half moon could have come out after the green one. It's really hard to tell. I'll rotate it for you so you can see. Don't mind the substrates, just experimenting with some stuff. And we've had all right yield off this actually, variegation wise. Look how weird this leaf is. Look how weird this leaf is. We've had an all right yield out of this, to be honest. It's not been too bad, but again, same thing. When you think something is reverting, give it a shot. Not quite that in this case obviously for this plant this plant's just done better i'm not sure if i would cut from this i will leave it a little bit longer and see i think it might have actually popped in here i don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not i will try my best guys i really will can you see that there in the very bottom that little shoot oh no it was focusing it might be struggling to focus that close up there's a little shoot in the bottom there that looks like it's a new plant. So I'm going to gently cover that back up and let it do its thing. This one is Philodendron Wend Imbe Variegata or Variegated. And it's very cute. And I think he might be good to go. We'll see. We'll see how we do.
Another one to show you, this is Philodendron Domesticum variegata. He's looking quite cute. He's definitely growing a little bit nicer. I think he needs a feed, actually. A feed and a little bit brighter light. But this is him. This is a lovely mini plant. Again, I will explain what I'm thinking about this plant because I know a lot of people ask me, like, oh, like, what would you be doing with that? Are you going to cut that? Are you going to sell that? Like, how do you know when to cut? Do you do the whole thing? Do you just take the head off? So I judge it on a plant-by-plant -plant basis. So this is where me and Ben differ. Ben would cut the whole thing down. I'd probably just take the top off in this situation. I'll just show you how good my aerial roots are. I've got an actual spider on that plant, not spider mites. But can you see? Yeah, you can see the growth on this if I slowly rotate it. You can see there's two sets of aerials there. But for me, I'd probably just lob off this top bit. This top bit has nice enough variegation. If I tip it that way, that looks like a really cute plant. See, I almost want to sell it as it is because someone would really love this. But yeah, you've got good variegation here and a good spread. So I wouldn't feel bad if I chopped it. I think it's nice and I think it would keep on going. It's hard to say really because this has started from a little cutting and it's become a really nice, pretty plant. So... I don't know if, if you and me would you would you cut it would you sell it as is would you keep growing it like what would you do because i do have some more of these i have my own personal plant but it's like way too yellow and there's just leaves dropping off it left right and center it's it's not good but that's this guy anyway so that's a bit of a variegation update on him if you want to know how i find these plants i find them reasonably quick to grow providing they've got enough light and a bit of food in them variegation i don't think it's too bad actually i've dealt with worse i think i, I don't really know how i feel about about them. I've had a lot of opinions on them in the past, but for now, hmm. this is definitely one of the slower ones I've had, but that's just because he got neglected and he got left over there in a tree and I didn't know he existed. So given that I didn't know he existed, I think he looks really good. He looks nice against the background, actually. I'm surprised because I thought my living wall wouldn't allow me to actually present plants for you, but that looks quite aesthetic. Does it not? I'm not gonna lie, that looks really nice. Philodendron Domesticum Varigata. Feel free to have a look at them on the internet because they get bigger than this and they get really nice and pointy. They're quite sexy. Okay, give me a minute guys, I have to prep this last plant. Okay, the last plant I want to show you today, I'm going to talk about it a little bit before I pick it up because it's 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 a whole thing guys. I'm not going to lie, it's a whole thing. I've watched this thing grow over this year from a distance at one of the top shelves, right? So it's grown pretty funky. It's actually grown very, I almost want to say bushy, considering it's had nothing but neglect. And I mean nothing but neglect. So if any of you remember, I had, I can't remember how long I had it in the shop, but it's always been here and I've only had one of them. I had a philodendron Thai sunrise a long, long time ago. I think I cut some, I propagated some, they grew back all lime, just nothing really happened. It was kind of a waste of time. I know a lot of people have problems with this plant with reversion and everything else. So basically I put it up at the top of the shelf and I forgot about it. But the most insane thing has happened with this plant and it's kind of become variegated. Now, Thai Sunrise kind of are variegated anyway, in the way that I believe it is... Is it the inside of the leaf that's yellow and the, the margin is green? I can't remember. I'll probably show you a picture now of a Thai Sunrise so you can see. So they normally look like that, but this doesn't look like that. Okay, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to try and walk you through it and I'm going to try and show you the variegation because it's not full sectoral blocky variegation, but it is all over the plant. So it might be time to propagate this and see what happens with it. I'll show you what I mean. Also, I've piled loads of roots on top of the plant and I've had to do that because it's got a huge root ball that's come off some aerials and it's just formed a, a whole second root mass somewhere else in the tray. So I'm going to pick it up now and I'm telling you all this because I actually need two hands to pick this up because guys... This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Look at this. Like, what even? Just to show you from the side what's actually happened with this, you can see it's kind of like grown off the shelf and then start curling around a bit like that. It's kind of crazy, is it not? See what I was saying before? The Thai sunrise, like, ness hasn't really come back, but like, what the hell? So I'm gonna hold him up to the camera to see if you can see the variegation, but it's actually started from a ridiculously young point in the plant and it's kept going through the entire plant and no one's noticed, so I guess that's fun. So if I show you some of this, oh, please focus. This is not a time for it to focus on me, is it? Can you see the variegation creeping through it? If I move down the plant, maybe I can show you the, the top bit better because it's just due to the way I have to hold on to it, it's really bloody annoying. So I'm trying to look at my monitor at the same time. I wonder if you can see that very well. You might not be able to, you know, and that that's my fault, that's due to lights. Can you see that on the new leaf there? You see variegation coming out? I think you can. And then it's kind of, I mean guys, it, it's literally everywhere, like even these lower leaves here. 
If I show you them, you can see it all over the plant. And I mean all over the plant, every single leaf, it's kind of dispersed across. There's a good leaf here. I don't know if you'd be able to see that. Please just focus, it would be great. You see that there? It's everywhere. There is no other way to put it. It is, it's everywhere and it's big and long. Now, I don't really know what to do. I think the obvious thing is, is honestly to propagate this. I think we can all agree. That's what I meant about the root mass, by the way. Check that out. I had to just plop it on top of the pot because that's, that's who he is now. Um, so yeah, so he's been rescued from up north, north of the wall. And now he's probably gonna live down here. I think the best thing to do is chop him, guys, because I think something really cool could happen if we do. Um, I'll try and show you the variegation again. I'll stand back a little bit just so you can kind of get a sense. I do hope it comes off on camera, but this is what I was saying. It's not super chunky sectoral variegation like the other things I've shown you. It, it is that other sort of kind, I guess. It's not breaking through all three layers, but it is really, really interesting. I quite like it, you know. It's not showing any sign of stopping. Can I see it on the stem? Not necessarily. I can in some places, but because it's so thin, it's not, it's just coming across as like a multi-toned stem rather than, you know, like candy cane, because as I say, it's just not that kind of thing. I had to show you him because he's just, I mean, look at him. If I stand back even more, you can see how big he is. He's, he's no joke. So yeah, this is what became of the Thai sunrise. Here he is years later, and this is the state he's in. So I think I'm going to cut this down, guys, and sell him as cuttings or whatever, because he seems quite interesting. Look at him. He's hanging on by a thread, breast, and look at this, honestly. I'm going to put him down now, because my arm is really, it's really going, so I'm trying to hold this thing up for this long. Let's pop him down. And there you have it. There is my very, very, very mini haul, i.e. two plants at the start, and then a little bit of variegation updates. Obviously, I have loads more variegated things. I have the variegated Glory Awesome, which actually you will see next week because it features in a video that you guys loved last year, so I'm doing that again. So you will see parts of him next week and a few other things that I'm staring at now. There's also a plant that has not featured in today's video that is part of a haul, but he made it in the next week's video because he looks really bad. So that should tell you what next week's video is for roundabout Halloween time. But until then, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It really, really helps. It helps me with the algorithm and it lets me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. If you'd like to see any more of my content, be it whatever you want, I've got a bunch of stuff, then please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for this week's video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.